Greetings to my fellow YouTubers, I'm Duel, aka the Big D of Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. So now I bring to y'all another review of the Rambo franchise. This time I present Rambo from 2008. And this would be the first time a Rambo movie would be directed by the same guy who plays the title character once more, Sylvester Stallone. Who, of course, had directed most of the Rocky movies uh, he was in. Anyway, this time, this takes place long after the events of Rambo 3. And this film was dedicated in memory of... Richard Crenna, who played the Colonel Sam Troutman in the three movies, who died five years before this. He died of heart failure. But anyway, Rambo is now living in Thailand, making a meager living as a snake catcher, and by providing boat rides. Now, a ruthless SPDC officer leads an army to pillage small villages in a campaign of fear in Burma. Anyway, this soldier's slaughter innocents, abduct teenage boys to be drafted into his army and hold women hostages to be raped. But anyway, back to the rest of the story. That's just who our main villain is. Missionary doctor from Colorado named Michael hires Rambo to use his boat to ferry their group into Burma. On a humanitarian mission to provide medical aid to a village inhabited by the Karen people. Rambo refuses, however, but agrees. When requested by Michael's wife, Sarah. On their way, they are encountered by pirates demanding Sarah in exchange for passage, but Rambo kills them. But anyway, I've only seen this movie one time, so I'm using the tablet. I do apologize for that. I'm sorry I keep apologizing. <laughs> sorry, but um, enough about that. But anyway, Michael sends Rambo back upon arriving at their destination, claiming he no longer wants his help. In the village, the missionaries provide aid to those attacked by the soldiers, but the army strikes, the villagers are massacred, and the missionaries are abducted. So now it's up to Rambo to save them. As the pastor of the missionary's church comes to Thailand and asks Rambo to guide a team of five mercenaries on a rescue mission. So, that's what they do. But the team leader, a former SAS soldier, refuses. But soon, a Karen... Rebel, familiar with the area they are in, leads the mercenaries to the village of the massacre. As they survey the damage, a squad of soldiers arrive in a cargo truck with a group of villagers intent on playing games and killing them. Pretty serious. But anyway, the mercenaries take cover and everything. Rambo follows the, the mercenaries secretly and manages to kill them all with his bow and arrow. On the hostages to escape unharmed, and then joins the mercenary team to take their way to the soldiers' camp. Anyway, I'm not going to give too much of the rest of the movie, but I am going to say that the last bit is really intense, as I've read. Uh, I can remember what goes on with with if you don't know what I mean, because you can't go wrong with what goes on in the end of a Rambo movie. Rambo manages to get some real big guns for this one after taking a cheap with um, an M2 Browning machine gun mounted on. Really takes on these here soldiers. But anyway. And Rambo even gets to use a machete. But I ain't gonna tell you what that that was for. 
You're gonna have to see the movie if you got the guts and glory to see it. Anyway, Rambo was released due to mixed reviews. It did okay. It made about almost 20 million, so that was okay and all. But anyway, like I said, I've only seen it once. I'd love to see it again, but anyway, that's all I want to say about Rambo. If you've seen Rambo from 2018, 28, my mistake, sorry, I got carried, I got lost, forgot where I was, from 28, 2008, 2008, oh, fudge, I'm sorry everyone, ah, uh, got tongue-tied, I'm gonna let this slide, but anyway, let me know what you thought about Rambo 28, 2008, uh, there I go again, tell me what you thought about the movie in the comment section, please. Like and subscribe to my channel, and thank you very much for watching. Next time, I will be reviewing the new one that just came out yesterday, Rambo Last Blood. Is this going to be a good, or will this be a simple dud of a bomb? Who knows? Thank you for watching. Until next time, on the Big D thing, see ya.